everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Nuclear Throne. I knew I couldn't stay away. Why can't I quit you.jpg slash Brokeback Mountain, etc, etc. Um, we're going to be playing some more Nuclear Throne because I'm having a lot of fun with it. Plus, conveniently, a new patch just came out which had some changes. There's a couple new weapons. The Splinter Gun and the Toxic Gun, I think. Also, some of the characters got changed. Um, uh, Bell Sprout's ability here. No longer, by the way, there is a new kind of like uh, menu screen here, as you can see as well. But uh, Bell Sprout's Throne Butt Snare no longer actually hits enemies regardless of how much health they have. It only does damage to enemies. This is the upgraded version of the secondary power. Um, when they are below one-third health. Also, Steroids ability makes all semi-automatic weapons automatic. Also, one-fifth of your shots cost, less, cost no ammo, I guess, is the... Uh, additional buff there. So this is for the throne butt for him and fish can now roll in any direction. But we're going to random here. And I don't know who I've randomed as. That is a way cool kind of portal screen every time you go from level to level. So again, this is uh you know proof in uh proof in the pudding. That's not an expression that I like. I don't even like pudding quite frankly. Proof I'm okay with it, but uh pudding not so much. Once I watched uh Nigella Lawson, the the cooking may have been, you know, secondary to the reasons that I had the television program on, but she was making like a bread pudding and she just shoved like a bunch of loaves of bread like straight up her asshole and then crapped it out into a dish and then put it in the oven and was like, this is gonna be amazing. And I was like, I agree, but maybe not for the same reasons. Oh God, my cat is executing a heist right now on the dr set of drawers near my desk. Um, what will we take? Um, I need to get reacquainted with these level uh, or these icons now. Uh, probably some missed bullets become ammo. Oh my god, this cat is freaking crazy. One second. Yo, just take the mice, you savage. Here you go. Oh my god, the enemies are coming for me, Ru. Okay. I'm gonna explain what's going on here, because it's not just me going through a pit, uh, or uh, a pit of despair. No, uh, a fit of just, like, complete disassociation from reality. Uh, my cat has realized that, you know, I, I have a bunch of toy mice for it, because he loses the, the mice all the time, so we keep an extra supply. And I keep them in a drawer near my desk, and apparently last night he realized that if you jump up on the back of my desk, because it's like a, it's not a part of my desk, it's just like an extra set of drawers that goes over the top, much like a second pair of underwear. But, um, you can push open the drawer. Well, let's see what this weapon is. Laser pistol, sure. I'll take that instead of the revolver. Uh, you can push open the drawer from the back and then jump up from the other side and get a mouse. So now he just keeps, like, periodically running up here, snatching one, and then leaving and basically being a goddamn nuisance. But hopefully he'll be able to hold on to that one for the at least, like, 15 to 20 minutes it takes to do a run in Nuclear Throne. It appears he has returned already. Whoa, what is this? Why does... Oh, I guess extra... I see how it is. So they're not always going to be, like, these white kind of... Uh, uh, work in progress artistic icons. Sometimes they're gonna have like uh, the actual character specific ones, which is gonna look way way cooler um, Why don't we go with I mean, I don't like it the most, but I will go with bloodlust also I totally forgot that playing as robot which was the last character We also played as uh, in the you know vanilla mini series if you will which I could really go for a vanilla mini series right now um you should mostly just use, oh, that was really bad. Mostly just like use the weapons you come across and then recycle them for ammo. So I'm going to use the laser pistol as much as is possible right now and fall down to basically no health. And unless bloodlust kicks in in a second, I'm probably going to find myself dying. Again, the, the cat has returned and is executing the world's greatest heist now. Occasionally, I get people that are like, you know, you talk about your cat a lot, like, maybe you should just put it in another room when you're recording. You're a professional. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a professional. I'm professional enough to know that this shit is hilarious, even if you can't see it. I hope. Anyway, I got distracted there and died. Let's try this again. Anyway, that was me playing, like, a, a very, very basic Nuclear Throne game anyway. Uh, so I, I barely even used my secondary ability. I mean, that's kind of the norm when you have a game that goes this short or a run that goes this short. There have also been some optimization fixes. Uh, I know that in the next patch, they're really trying to uh, nail down this kind of screen shake discussion, which is, you know, people complain when they watch the videos or when they play the game themselves about how the screen shakes. Um, they're, they're working on a way to either fix that or make it uh, less kind of jarring, I suppose. What do we have here? Shotgun, laser pistol, screwdriver. Screwdriver, I will recycle into shotgun ammo. Wait. Oh, wait, I'm Pop Pop. I'm not Robot Man. 
Was I Robot Man last time? Maybe it's random. You play as a random character every single time you respawn, which is hilarious, actually. Uh, okay, so in this one, we want to keep the revolver, probably, and then maybe go with the shotgun as well, which we already have. Okay, so, playing as, uh, as YV, a.k.a. Pop Pop, we have the ability to uh, shoot twice as many bullets at once. What is this? Plutonium Hunger. I like it a lot. Yeah, as long as there's no Rabbit's Paw, Plutonium Hunger is probably uh, one of my favorite upgrades apart from that. All right, let's try not to... Oh, God! It's been a, a couple of days since I played Nuclear Throne, which is just the norm because I'm running so many series at once here that usually I'll record like two or three episodes of something one day and then uh, move on to something else on the next day. Oh my god, one second here. I have to take care of this silkworm. Then I've got a, a brief feline emergency. Hey! Hey, you donglehorn! Get your head out of the drawer! Oh my god. He has sunk his entire body into the drawer right now. What are you doing in there? Are you just gonna go for a nap? Get a mouse, you ding-dong. I can't even help you get a mouse out of there now. Okay, well, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove these drawers, and you can just sleep up there. I hope you're happy. You ruined my workday. Destroyed everything I've ever loved. I should really... If, if he's still there after this episode's over, I will take a picture and splice that in here, because this is goddamn ridiculous. Oh, okay. Now, don't get killed here. I'm flustered. You got... Feline capers happening non-stop. He is almost certainly gonna... I don't care about the cat's life or the drawers. Both of those are secondary to me, but I've got these uh, sweet Spelunky mini figurines that I bought at PAX. Oh, God. That um, I don't want to have broken or otherwise disheveled. Yes, they were only like $30 or something like that, and my cat is, uh, you know, one of my best friends this entire life, which is a pretty sad thing to say. But he's being real annoying right now. So I think I'm justified. Okay, so let's just continue onwards here. So far, so good. We got Plutonium Hunger. That's it. We're about to hit level three. Uh, I think we should be able to kill Big Dog fairly easily. Pop Pop is, or, or you know, YV, but I like calling him Pop Pop, is another character that I actually, uh, you know, completed one lap of the game with. So I'm fairly comfortable with him, even though I didn't normally consider him one of my uh, favorite people to play as, and I'm dead. Okay, let's restart here. Okay, we do as a, play as a different character each time. And this time we are playing as Eyes. This is a good chance for me to redeem myself because I finally know what Eyes' uh, special ability does. So, he has a mind control special ability. The way that it works is... Oh, Jesus. Get rid of the laser pistol. Pick up the shotgun. That's a machine gun. Never mind. Keep the laser pistol then. Um, the way that it works is that... Get rid of the revolver. Um, machine gun basically is straight upgrade to the revolver, in my opinion at least. But... Um, Basically, if I right-click, if you didn't see the earlier episode, it draws enemies towards me, and it also deflects bullets, or, you know, like, causes bullets to repel from me, which can be important, but I haven't really used it properly defensively, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna level up here. Which is unfortunate, because it sounds like a great ability, you know, cause bullets to bend around you, you'd be like Neo from the Matrix, but, uh, I haven't really, uh, been able to use it too effectively so far, so... I'm hoping that maybe we can change that here. Uh, one thing I was mentioning earlier before the this catastrophe happened, uh, ha ha, is that uh, there have been optimization fixes for things like uh, the maggot den, so you know, like the silkworm lair. When you shot it, oftentimes there was like huge slowdown. Now I believe that that slowdown has been decreased. At least that's what it says in the patch notes. Yep, no normally that would have caused uh, at least a, a noticeable frame rate hit. That is a slugger, I think. Uh, I would prefer to have the slugger to the laser pistol. What do we have in here? Sledgehammer. Nah. Uh, I'm okay with using the laser pistol to kill this dude, and then we'll take the uh, slugger with us, which is a fantastic weapon. But the machine gun is probably going to be our bread and butter over the course of this, as long as I stop wasting so much ammo over stupid situations like that. So, leveling up here. Uh, do we have Rabbit's Paw? No. We haven't seen that at all so far. Last Wish is bad. Probably lucky shot. Some kills recycle ammo. I'm really digging this portal screen in the way like you spawn into the levels instead of uh, the way that it worked last time. That was quite clearly work in progress, but uh, you know, you just kind of get used to some things that are maybe uh, a little bit work in progressy, and then when they get f fixed or made better or more uh, polished, you're like, ah, all right. That looks much better now. Okay, let's try to make it out of the first level uh, or first world, if you will for our first time ever, because this has been pretty poor show of form so far. We'll definitely hit level 3 if we live through this level, uh, which is 
a little debatable or a little, you know, questionable, but we'll see. The machine gun really has some noticeable screen shake. I'll admit that for sure. Oh, okay. We lived. Now, I probably should try to use, at the very least, use mind control to push the bullets away, but it, yeah, I just used it right there. You can probably see, you know, from my standpoint, it didn't really seem like it did that much. Maybe they curved around me ever so slightly. Uh, there's level three for us. We're very low on health. I think I'm going to get rid of the shotgun and pick up the crossbow, actually. And last wish in this case might actually be a worthwhile situation. Uh, what do we have here? Rhino skin. Okay, rhino skin also amazing for the extra HP. But we want um, we want to get. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the, my cat looks ridiculous right now. Um, we want to get uh, the rabbit's paw as soon as possible, and then maybe um, it was like strong stomach or extra stomach as well. That would allow us to. What the? Is that like poison gas or something? I've never seen that before. Okay, at least we got to level 2-1, but I think it's fair to say that I'm mad because I'm bad now. But here we go. Plant, one of my favorite characters in the game. Even with the nerf, it probably means that Throne Butt is more or less, um... No, well, it used to be like a seriously top tier upgrade because it basically meant that you could easily kill uh, any enemy just by hitting it with the uh, low bullets on my revolver. That's a bad start. Not to mention 2 health, also pretty terrible. Um, but yeah, any enemy, you just prioritize it, hit it with the uh, snare mechanic, and you know, Bob's your uncle, you're good to go, right? Whereas now, we'll probably need to be a little bit more, uh, yeah, prioritize other upgrades, shall we say. I'm out of revolver bullets, which is goddamn crazy. Now, I do, I'm just trying to get to that little weapon cache there, and that's going to be a sledgehammer. So, it's going to be uh, Mr. Bones' wild ride at the end of this. Because I'm going to need to get very close to these kind of nuclear rotata, and uh, the green shots do not get deflected by melee weapons. So I would say we're probably not long for this world. But if I can snag him with a snare, hit him like four or five times. Oh, and there's a med kit there too. I can't afford to not pick that up. Wow, we lived. Okay, uh, bullets. 24 bullets. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, eagle Eye, no. We are certainly, certainly going to go with... Uh, Jeez, this is a maybe plus max ammo. It's not my favorite uh, combination, but it was either that or like extra speed. Extra speed strikes me as something that is probably pretty useful, but I've never been able to really notice a meaningful change. Extra melee range, I, I think that was either an option or, or uh, maybe I was getting confused with uh, back muscle, which gives you extra ammo, but uh, or extra max ammo, I should say. But um, I don't think I'm going to stick with the sledgehammer very long if it is at all possible for me to change. I understand that I do have uh, bullets now, uh, but I am, you know, enjoying this and we'll get some extra ammo built up. Now I will probably switch to the slugger here and I will fight my way out of here because, quite frankly, uh, it's been a bad run so far and I'm scared and I want to make sure that we, uh, you know, live to fight another day here. So we are going to hit level three. There must be yeah, one last enemy and hopefully a, a number of shotgun shells in here. Ah, bullets. Bullets, shotgun shells, same difference, really. Uh, what is this, right? No, Throne Butt upgrades your special ability. So probably not as good anymore. Fire Eater is uh, pretty useful, but all things told, we haven't really gotten the greatest upgrade so far. But oh, that extra med kit gives me a brand new lease on life. All right. Optimized Maggot Lair. I like you. Now we have another uh, weapon cache in here, and I'm interested to see what's in that because, you know, we're still not totally set here. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. SMG? No, thank you. Okay, I've stopped him, and this is gonna mess with our camera a little bit, so I'm just gonna... Well, he's basically frozen. I am just going to take the dumbest damage of all time. Oh my god, of course there's a, like a Rattata just off of our uh, frame here. I should still be able to hit the Slugger without putting myself too much in harm's way. Or hit uh, the enemy without putting myself in harm's way. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Now just... Freeze him a little bit and then hit him with this. Remember, if you're, if you're wondering why I didn't take the throne butt, it is entirely because uh, the nerf, I think, makes it a lot less usable. By my standards, anyway. Um, I previously had used... Uh, oh, no. Definitely good use of the slugger. Uh, my previous use for the snare had basically been like high damage enemy or high HP enemy. Just hit him with this. Yeah, we'll take the machine gun. And then we'll just leave him there. And, you know, Bob's your uncle. He's dead. Uh, now, that's not the way that I, I play with it, or I, I'm planning on playing with it. I'm just going to use it as kind of like a technique to keep enemies, keep my distance from enemies whenever I want to. We didn't level up there. 
Okay. But at least we did make it down to the sewer again. With 44 shells, feel reasonably okay about using my slugger in these tight corridors. We will certainly hit level 4. If we don't, I would be uh, surprised and probably quite anxious as well. Now, you want to make sure you're killing the like rat generators before you kill the rats whenever possible. Oh, so we, these are like toxic barrels now, or toxic pipes. Okay, so those are new. No wonder I didn't know what was going on with them last time. Okay, so that is poison gas, and the, the poison gas will be deleterious to our health. Also, it's a new thing to know. That's why it's exciting to play a game in early access, you know? Constantly being updated with stuff like that. What does this do? I hit it and it exploded. So that maybe is just cosmetic. Or you can use it as cover, I guess, once. And up here, we got kind of a den of sin and iniquity. Inequity. Iniquity? Am I thinking of, like, antiquity? That wouldn't really make sense in the context of this. Uh, there's level 4, and we will be able to get maybe a third of the way to level 5. It's a little debatable. We'll see. I don't think this is the last enemy. Like, I'd be very surprised if that was the last enemy. Wow, it was. That was a very quick floor then. Uh, okay. I can't believe that we haven't gotten Rabbit's Paw at all so far. I wonder... I, I don't think it's been taken out of the newest update of the game. Probably, um... Probably Recycle Guts, so Mist Bullets become ammo. Um, oh, we got uh, kind of like some cars here, too. That's interesting. Uh, and they explode, as one might expect, so I'm very glad that I picked up uh, Thrown Butt. I guess those are also, if I had to guess, pools of... Uh, Poisonous gas or acid, so I'm not going to walk into those. I guess it's not really gas, is it? But uh, I'm not going to walk into those. I should probably use the snare a little bit more often. What the heck is this? SMG, okay. Uh, I thought maybe it was one of the new weapons because I didn't recognize it uh, immediately. SMG's been showing up a lot lately. Alright, this is a, a fairly easy corridor here in contrast to the way it might look. Uh, I still got hit on my way out there. But Fire Eater such a good upgrade here. We'll probably be able to... Yep, I was just going to say, get some med kits. And I, oh, down, we're down to two health again. Where did all these birds come from? I, I already came through here. We should be able to hit level five, assuming I don't die, though. Which is a, a fairly big assumption right now. Okay, let's do another one. This time we're playing as uh, Melting. Okay. Don't die right off the bat, and this can be a lot of fun. One of my favorite characters. Absolutely. Melting, uh, you know, that was like almost a week ago, probably, at this point. So, it is worth noting, if you don't know what Melting's abilities are, he starts with only two health. That's bad. On the other hand, he also uh, has a special ability, which allows him to explode corpses, as you can see. And he's immune to the damage from his own exploding corpses, uh, or the corpses that he's exploded himself, which is, uh, you know, very smart. I can't believe I didn't level up there. Because the other thing is, passively, I I'm pretty sure uh, Melting gets more experience. So what the ideal situation here is that you, you know, kill some enemies, they create corpses, and then by... You might as well switch revolver for uh, sledgehammer here. Uh, by blowing up these corpses, you then create more corpses, which you can then blow up, and, and, you know, life's good, basically. Now, rhino skin is more or less an essential upgrade here. Because otherwise, one hit from basically any enemy except, like, walking into a silkworm is enough to kill us. So we have to be very cautious to start with. And the earlier we get Rhino Skin, the better our life will be, assuming we get it at all. Bloodlust doesn't even really help us because that's a, a max HP modifier only. Now, I have Sledgehammer and Machine Gun. Uh, there must still be, yep, I was hoping there were some enemies and also maybe an experience cache, but there wasn't. more. Oh, the bullets didn't even come from me anymore. Uh, that is not Rhino Skin. Oh, it is Rhino Skin! Okay. For some reason, I thought, like, they would never make Rhino Skin melting, because his HP is, like, starts so low. But I guess it makes sense to have it be melting, because, like, that's the ultimate, uh, character to pick it up. Now, I... Oh, there you go. I got hit once already and would be dead were it not for, uh, the extra ability that I picked up. Okay, so we're gonna take the crossbow. We're gonna hit him with the crossbow. And he's gonna die. As you can see. Okay, and we're gonna level up again. Oh, we already did. Now, we just can't afford to really get hit. We'll find some more med kits. That's why I like the crossbow. If I can keep it, it's it's a fantastic uh, boss fighting weapon because it, it does... It's got to be, like, among the most damaging weapons in the game, like, per shot. I believe it, yeah. It kills the Rattatas in one hit. Oh, that was so dumb! There was more experience up there. Okay. Uh, eagle Eye. Extra Stomach. Back Muscle. Eagle Oh, my God. It's, we'll take Extra Stomach in the hopes that we pick up uh, Rabbit's Foot later. Or rabbit's Paw. Uh... Please tell me that thing yet yeah, doesn't explode when I touch it. That would be bad. 
both, you know, personally, for the run, and sexually as well, I guess. Uh, we are gonna hit level 4 for sure, but messing, or missing that experience was a, a big concern, actually. Quite honestly, if we had hit level 5, you know, that, that could end up making all the difference. This is a game where, you know, there's the butterfly effect is at work. Things snowball for sure. So, double shotgun, it's an interesting choice. Not really my style. Really thought the explosions would do more there. Um, it just uses too much ammo, and if I'm gonna have a weapon that uses a lot of ammo, doesn't have a lot of ammo, probably the crossbow or, you know, an auto crossbow or something like that would be more up my alley, so... Oh, we didn't even hit him with that. Um, we do want to get thrown butt as well for the uh, extra explosions, or sorry, uh, larger explosions. Whether or not we have the opportunity to do that should be interesting. Scary, scary elements right now. Okay, uh, this is not the end of this floor. I kind of wanted it to be just in case we had the option to pick uh, Rabbit's Paw or Last Wish. Hello, Mr. Rat. How's life been since Round and Round was a number one on the Billboard Hot 69? Uh, okay, that's one way to do it. I would much rather not use the crossbow bullets, but um, it's a lot safer. Oh my god, I'm almost out of machine gun bullets anyway. Okay, rabbit's paw. That's not rabbit's paw, that is thrown butt, which is actually exceptionally useful as well. I haven't seen rabbit's paw, maybe it has been taken out of the game. Maybe uh, the guys at Flambear thought it was too easy. Oh, and I lived. Okay, how that happened is beyond me. Uh, but now we'll have larger explosions. As a result of our... I could really use some ammo. Um, we'll have larger explosions as a result of uh, Throne Butt here. Completely worth noting that I do not have Fire Eater, so... You know, as usual, don't do what I do. And walk into the territory with the Explosive Man. We really desperately need some bullets. That was an incredible shot. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, one more quickly. I'm mad because I'm bad. Mm -hmm. I'm also mad because I'm uncaffeinated here, so slowly but surely, the caffeine enters my system, and it's slowly reawakening me. As you can see there, I got to the scrapyard, you know, made it a little further than maybe was anticipated, given the, you know, the quality of the run that preceded it, or runs that preceded it, I guess. We'll grenade launcher this uh, silkworm asshole here. And plant again, still one of my favorite characters. I still think, even with the nerf to throne butt, uh, the snare ability is very, very useful. Especially, mostly for high damage enemies, or high HP enemies that you can just kind of slot in the corner and then never think about again. So I really like the assault rifle as a weapon as well. We did level up, which is better than we did on the first floor as melting, which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, and there might be uses for the throne butt, I'll admit, but uh, I don't know if it's as viable as it used to be. Seriously, rabbit's paw. Oh, rabbit's paw right there. Just saw it for the first time. I like it. Okay. I'm digging the new... Uh, like, portrait-style uh, icons as well. I think those are absolutely awesome. It kind of reminds me of, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time. Where, you know, when you go to pick a character, it's got, like, dun 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 That might have been, uh, Mega Man X, actually. Uh, screwdriver. What is this? Grenade launcher still, right? Okay, well, we might as well, like, use the grenade launcher to blow up some enemies and maybe some walls as well. And then I'll come back and pick up the shotgun, which is a weapon I'd rather roll with, kind of into perpetuity here. Uh, the sledgehammer doesn't interest me that much, as as useful as it can be. Is that a crossbow? It is a crossbow, okay. So I'll go with the crossbow instead of the sledgehammer, but, or sorry, instead of the slugger, but also wanna make sure that I'm shooting the grenade launcher as much as possible, take care of some of these assholes. There's another slugger, we'll get, get, get rid of our grenade launcher now to pick up the crossbow. I didn't, the reason I didn't wanna um, drop a grenade in here is just in case it ac accidentally killed everything and then I'd have to like, rush and pick up all this experience before time ran out. So, uh, that is Rhino Skin, which is an absolutely awesome upgrade. Now we'll look for extra stomach. Uh, I still don't think uh, I'm gonna prioritize Throne Butt at all, but uh, extra stomach is, is an awesome upgrade when you have Rabbit's Paw. Otherwise, not crazy good. Uh, I believe this is, oh no. I believe this is the machine gun that's kinda down there. Weapons don't disappear as far as I know, so I can just kind of wait on that for a little while. Alright, so we want to snare uh, Big Bandit. And then just hit him with the crossbow over and over and over. And I'm just constantly, like, slightly shifting position to make it a little easier on myself. Okay, that went really well. As you can quite obviously tell. We're certainly going to level up to level 4, and this is very early to hit level 4, so I'm very pleased with this. 
Now just kill Rattata before he shoots. I botched it and took some damage, but... Oh, was that a minigun? Triple machine gun. I know people are always ragging on me. Take triple machine gun. I don't like it because of the ammo cost. And I understand that's a little hypocritical considering I love uh, the assault rifle. And that can cost you three ammo to kill a one HP minion. Uh, but, you know, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Extra speed, extra stomach. Okay, so now we've got like the ideal combination of, uh, of items here. For my taste, at least. Of, of not items, mutations, by the way. Should probably start getting like some standardized nomenclature for those for me personally so that I, you actually know what I'm talking about. Because I call, you know, like the level that we're on, I call that a level. Then I'm like, oh, we're going to level up on the next level, blah, blah. And you're like, what are, what are you talking about? Are you talking about, uh, you know, mutations? Are you talking about levels? Are you talking about experience? I don't know. Are you talking about building your house so that each phase of it is slightly vertically elevated from the one that comes before it? Or this like vertical distinction? My favorite uh, Chris O'Donnell movie, by the way. I was very lucky that that uh, rat died. So, these weapons interest me greatly. I believe that there are two grenade launchers. All of a sudden, substantially less interested. Hitting level 5 here would be remarkable. I don't think it's very likely, in all honesty. We do have another, you know, maybe 20% of the map available. Maybe we'll get extraordinarily lucky and we'll come across a uh, an experience cache. Nope. Uh, we're done with this level. And that's fine. I, I think the game's been more than generous with experience so far. Uh, we'll definitely want to shoot Exploding Man uh, as soon as possible. Now, we don't have Fire Eater. And that's scary. Uh, but not as scary as being trapped in here with these dudes. <laughs> they were like, ex everywhere I went, I was like, let's just keep walking until we find a dude who's not explosive. And then everybody exploded. So, um, this is a, an extra special... Uh, experience cache here. I think it exploded when the car exploded, so we ended up picking that experience up uh, free of charge, which is nice. That was real scary. Problem again, I I'm running out of uh, assault rifle ammo. Alright, so we have to switch to our crossbow. At least we have 47 shots in this, which is pretty sizable, but you know, it's still also pretty scary. Basically not using my special ability at all. But against Big Dog, it will be exceptionally useful, assuming it works. Definitely want to pick up that med kit. Okay, level 5 is here. This is important. Now we have bullets again, which is ex extremely useful. So that I can actually, you know, progress in the game. We're at the point where if I don't get a bunch of bullets... That guy scared me. If we don't get a bunch of bullets soon, uh, I might as well just, like, uh, get rid of the assault rifle and take something else. So what's in here? Laser rifle. Sure, let's give it a try. We got uh, 48 energy for it. I don't think this is going to go a long way, but um, two birds left. We shoot. Yeah, if we only shoot one energy per try, that's not so bad then. So that should be done. I think it's the first time we beat one of the scrapland levels in this episode. Uh, Fire Eater is almost certainly the most pressing upgrade that we need here. I'm very lucky to have been able to walk past that. Wait, can I step in this toxic goo? I hope so. Yes, okay, so that's just, uh, cosmetic. I did not know that at first. Now, you can hold down the laser rifle if you want, but that's gonna, um, melt my ammo pretty quickly, so... I think it's much better for me to be a little bit more prudent. I did get hit. Uh, I absolutely got hit by the melee dude there. That's fine, though. Always fancy myself more of a brawl man, personally. That's not true. More, more of a vanilla. Or OG. Um... We have the auto shotgun, which is very tempting, but I, I'm digging the laser rifle, quite honestly, even though I didn't take uh, laser brain, which would have given me more damage for energy weapons. I don't think that's that viable of an item, quite honestly. Do laser weapons have a reputation for not doing very much damage? I don't know. Perhaps. I use them so rarely that it, it's incredibly, like, situational. Uh, we should still be able to get through. I'm, I'm mostly, I'm trying to save my crossbow bolts, because I know if I can at least live until the next level, these crossbow, oh, medkit. These crossbow bolts are going to be so crazy beneficial that, uh, I can't not take them. So, one more shot of the laser rifle left, so I'm gonna, uh, use the crossbow to just kind of clear out some space here. Uh, and we'll get back to full health. I do see a weapon, and that interests me. Because, again, laser rifle is almost out of uh, good stuff here. That's Gatling Slugger. Okay, and I accidentally got rid of the crossbow to pick up the Gatling Slugger. Oh, no. 
this will be the end of our lives. There's almost no way for me to see around, or see a way around this at this point. Max shells. Okay, that's really good. That med kit doesn't really concern me in all honesty, but I'll, I'll go in here anyway. There we go. So I got rid of the laser rifle to pick up the crossbow. And now, actually, I think we have a pretty nice kind of suite of upgrades for taking out Big Dog. I don't know how the Gatling Slugger works. Is it auto? Yeah, okay. Um, so we're just going to try to put ourselves in a... You know, an opportunity where we can hit Big Dog easily, even if I can't see him. I could try to snare him. I don't know how worth it that is right now. Because I, I don't like the position that he's in. Now, just watch out for the... I'm trying to distinguish my lasers from the enemy lasers. Holy shit, we did actually manage to kill him. And the portal is open. Laser rifle. Give me the experience, you folk. Thank you. Okay. Never mind. I, I got a little offensive there, and I apologize. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Scare your face. So we did beat Big Dog here. And that just goes to show you... Sure, I guess Auto Crossbow is more valuable than Crossbow. Um, just goes to show you how uh, valuable mutations are. That was basically entirely due to the, uh, you know, the ideal mutations I got. And then I just died right afterwards. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first episode in the non-official miniseries, even though it's just going to be named the same thing, basically. Uh, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button if you did enjoy the episode or you're enjoying the series in general and you're happy that I'm continuing it. Uh, as always, subscribe if you want to see more Nuclear Throne. And of course, thanks for watching and... I'll see you next time.